The day after kicking off spring practices, South Carolina held a walkthrough on Wednesday, which was followed by offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield and defensive coordinator Clayton White meeting with the media. When Satterfield met with the media, we took a step back. We looked back to last season, some of the things both as a team, like for example, the offensive line, citing that when you watch that film, the offensive line was only responsible for 14 of the sacks that were allowed last year, saying that the quarterback or running back may have missed some assignments. But as far as personally, what did Satterfield take away from last season? Well, he took a lot. I've learned that there's more than one way to do things. I've learned that uh, uh, communication's crucial. I've, I've learned to be patient. I've learned to, you know, I've, I've always fall back on what we did at, at Temple and what we did at Baylor. I mean. To be part of two turnarounds like we were at Temple where no one even knew we had a football team to college game day 9-0 and had Notre Dame on campus to beating Penn State to what we did at Baylor, getting all the way to the shirt. Like to see the, the process and how we did it, and it doesn't have to be exactly like we did it, but I, I knew last year there was going to be some struggles. I think that helped me from you know some of the hard times, but uh, I, I, just, I think I, that I came out of this season personally just one – I grew a lot, just not as a man, but as a, as a coach, just from the communication and the compassion. And I don't know everything and leaning on people and leaning on my coaches more. I mean, our, our assistant coaches are unbelievable to put up with me most of the time. And then they were always there. They always had my back. They rallied and just how we finished the year and just how we've transitioned into the spring. And we've added Coach Wright, which I've knew for, known for a long time. I just think that we had to go through some stuff to come out on the other end better. And I think we're in a really good place right now. The Gamecocks will hold practice number two on Thursday, and Gamecock Central will be there to have you covered. Reporting from the Office Building, Mike Yuva, Gamecock Central.